I tried every pitch correction plugin I could get my hands on and tested them on my voice to find the very best sounding one. Let me show you what I found. You'd think something as simple as pitch correction would be fairly straightforward. You set the key, you adjust the retune speed, and that's about it, right? Well, no. Nowadays, there's about 20 different auto-tune like slash pitch correction plugins to choose from, and they all have slightly different flavors. And although most of them offer free trials for a limited time, going through and downloading all of them to see what sounds good can be a huge pain. That's where I come in. Think of me like the ice cream man. I'll get you a sample of each pitch correction plugin to hear what it sounds like before you splurge on the three scoop cone. I'll go over each plugin specifically and rank them based on a set of criteria I think makes a good pitch correction plugin. I'll also play an audio snippet of me singing so you can hear what it sounds like at both a high retune speed or with a lot of pitch correction or a low retune speed, more natural sounding. Feel free to skip to any of the plugins you want to hear about below. Also, be sure to check out my website for the full audio samples I recorded for each of these plugins if you want a more in-depth audio analysis. And if you stick around until the end of the video, I'll crown the king of the pitch correction plugins everywhere. Let's get started. To get started, we'll get into some free pitch correction software plugins. Most of these come with the DAWs as you purchase them. To start off, we'll start off with Logic. First, we have Logic Stock Pitch Correction. If you have Logic, it actually comes preset with a bunch of plugins that can help you alter your pitch. And in my review, I'm going to treat them all as one super plugin because if you have one of them, you have all of them. The plugins that will help you change your pitch in Logic are called Pitch Correction, Flex Pitch, and Vocal Transformer. Pitch Correction is your standard pitch correction plugin. You can set the retune speed or the response time, choose the key, and you're good to go. This is the automatic version of Pitch Correction in Logic, and it sounds just okay. Here's what it sounds like. Stop, can't keep me down. Keep in mind, if you want to hear these full songs and all of the audio tracks, you can listen to them by going to the playlist on my website, link in the description. In my opinion, the Logic pitch correction doesn't stack up that well to other automatic pitch correction paid options. But if you combine it with some of the other free tools, it can sound much better. Logic also offers Flex Pitch. Flex Pitch isn't a plugin, but a way of processing audio. It will analyze your track, then spit out the notes it thinks you're singing. After that, you can adjust those notes that you want and pitch correct individual notes. This is a more manual way of pitch correction, but it leads to a more natural and usually better sounding results. Let me show you. calling this type of pitch correction manual pitch correction. It's similar to some of the more industry standard paid pitch plugins like Melodyne. And it's pretty cool that Logic has this option. If you combine the flex pitch with the pitch correction, you'll get some smoother sounding tuning and more natural results, which I personally prefer. And then the last plugin you can use in Logic is the Vocal Transformer. I use this plugin for one thing and one thing only, changing the formant of a voice. Formants won't change a pitch of a vocal, but it will make it sound more monstrous or more Squeak. I use these a lot, and Logic Stock Plugin is one of my go-tos to do it. I'll be rating the formant capabilities of these pitch correction plugins in this special category that I've created on my website. It's not a deal breaker to not have good formant shifting, but for me, it's nice to have. That brings us on to plugin number two, which is FL Studio's pitch correction plugin, Pitcher. It's in auto pitch correction that sounds, once again, okay. If you don't have the full version of FL Studio, you'll have to purchase this plugin for an additional fee. It's pretty straightforward, and it's also got some okay sounding format changes, but honestly, it just falls a bit short for me. Take a listen. Love since December, now I spend my night. Let the money go speak to him. I'm a big player and I've been doing I never heard a lot of loss cause I've been losing Got a, a Rolex and a bang if you're gonna buy this extra plugin, I think your money would be better spent on some of the other plugins I'll talk about later in the list. And here's the final rating I gave it. Moving right along to another DAWs pitch correction, we have the newly released Ableton Auto Pitch plugin. 
Ableton recently released its stock pitch correction plugin, but it's only available to the beta testers of version 12.1. If you don't have it, I'd highly recommend checking it out. Auto Pitch is the best stock pitch correction plugin I've heard in a DAW. It sounds really good. It's a bit limited, adding some advanced features, but it already sounds great. Take a listen. I'm just another guy with the crush who wants to get to know you tonight. Yeah. Who's shy? Just covering a smile. Way too cute to. But there's no need to be shy. I really like the smooth feature it has, which lets the voice sound a bit more natural. There's also some format shifting in there, which you can add, which as you know, I like. I'm honestly very impressed with what you get for this plugin for it being a stock plugin. And here's how I ended up rating it. Now those are all the stock plugin options available to you while you use your DAW. But now it's time to get into some paid plugin options. We'll start off this list with some of the more inexpensive plugins and we'll finish the list with some of the best of the best, more pricey plugins. And the first one we'll cover is Wavestune Real Time. This is an automatic pitch correction that's designed to minimize latency. It's called Real Time because it's supposed to be used for real time pitch correction in live settings or while you're recording. The low latency of Wavestune Real Time makes it great for monitoring purposes while recording live, which means you'll actually be able to hear the pitch correction as you record your voice and sing. Wavestune Real Time does a good job of getting the classic tuned vocal sound without breaking the bank. It's easy to use and understand and has more features than a lot of the other plugins at this level. Let's listen to a couple different tracks with different settings and styles to see how it sounds. No, In my opinion, this plugin excels at the tuned vocal sound and being easy to use. It doesn't have great natural sounding vocals, formants, or vocal editing capabilities, but for the price, it's really hard to beat. Here's the numbers that I came up with for this plugin. Next up, we have another one from Waves called Wavestune. This is the more manual version of Wavestune real time. But honestly, this plugin is dated and hard to use, so just skip it. Choose another one. Moving right along to Autotune's version of Wavestune real time and their cheapest addition to the pitch correction line, Autotune Access. Autotune Access has a good sound, but it lacks a lot of features that more expensive plugins do and even that Wavestune real time has. But it's super easy to use and I think it sounds pretty good. There's no need to be shy. Even though the options are limited, I generally prefer the sound of the Autotune Access to the Wavestune Real Time and a lot of the stock plugins available in your DAW. If you're going for more natural sound, this is definitely the budget plugin to go for. The end sounds are pretty close, and like Wavestune Real Time, it struggles with a more natural sounding voice like some of the more advanced plugins on this list would. And here is my final rating of this plugin. Next up, we have Autotune Artist. It's the next step in the Autotune line, and it's got a more expensive price tag, but with it, it also brings a whole lot more control over the sound. It's also another automatic pitch correction plugin. You can still get a really tuned sound like before, but now you get a few more knobs to control the sound even better than before. Let's take a listen to what it sounds like. Every drop I can escape, yeah, weighs down my wings, but I won't stop. To me, this plugin sounds better than the previous paid options, and the increase in features and ways to manipulate the sound really add to the package. I love the humanized knob specifically to add some more natural vocal corrections so it doesn't sound as tuned. Here's how I rated this one. 
Let's step away from the world of Antares and Autotune for a second to talk about another pitch correction company we can use to shape our voice. This plugin is called Revoice 5 by Synchro Arts. This plugin is a manual pitch correction plugin with ARA integration. That means if your DAW supports it, it can analyze your audio in real time and import it into its program. If it doesn't, you'll have to manually record the vocals into your plugin every time you want to work with them, which is a giant pain in the ass. Most DAWs support ARAs no problem, except except Logic. Damn it, Logic. You can get around this by launching DAW in Rosetta mode, but it's not perfect. ARA rant aside, once you get into Revoice 5, you can start doing some really advanced pitch correction. Like most manual pitch correction plugins, you can go through and adjust every note to the exact pitch you want it to be. Let's listen to some examples of what this sounds like. Love since December, now I spend my night rolling in bed. The words that I said they ring through my head, I can't help but remember what it was. The company it. that makes Revoice 5 is called Synchro Arts, and they also make a plugin called Voc Align, which can perfectly align your vocal doubles to keep them really tight sounding in a mix. And these two plugins work very well in tandem together. Although overall I think Revoice 5 sounds good, I find it harder to use than some of the other manual pitch correction softwares and plugins. And there's really not as much quality video tutorials on this software in particular as the last two plugins that I'll cover so I knocked off some points for that. But here's my final rating for this one. Now on to the next plugin and one of the biggest players in the pitch correction space right now, Melodyne. Melodyne is a fantastic manual pitch correction software. Like Revoice 5 and Flex Pitch, you can adjust your vocals to whatever pitch you want them to be once you record them in. You can also do a whole bunch of other helpful things with Melodyne like reduce sibilance, add natural compression, tackle note drift and vibrato and much more. And my favorite part about Melodyne is how natural it sounds. Check it out after just a few clicks. They ring through my head, I can't help but remember what it was for you. If you have that ARA integration, like I mentioned earlier, Melodyne works so well and sounds so good. It's my go-to personal plugin for advanced pitch editing, in my opinion, one of the best sounding out there. But you'll end up paying a pretty penny for it. If you're going for the best vocals you can, Melodyne is one of my top choices. Also, if you're a Pro Tools user, you'll be able to get Melodyne for free. It comes with a subscription. Here's how I ended up rating Melodyne. And last up, we have the most popular pitch correction plugin of all time, Autotune Pro 11. This is the Autotune that took the music industry by storm and pretty much made pitch correction a standard on modern tracks. This is Antares' flagship plugin and the one with the most features. It's unique because it combines both automatic pitch correction and manual pitch correction into one plugin. Take a listen to some of the automatic pitch correction it's capable of. Ways down my wing. Let the money go speak to him. I'm a big player and I've been doing and never heard a lot of loss because I've been losing. Got a, a Rolex in the Bengals and promise I won't bite. I'm just another guy with the crush who wants to get to know you tonight. Like the Autotune Artist version, you'll find humanized knobs and flex pitch knobs to get a more natural sounding result. But this plugin also sounds great full throttle with the classic Autotune sound. And if you need to get more detailed with your sound, you can actually go into the graph mode editor to tell Autotune exactly what notes to play to tune your vocals to. Just like before, you can use this with ARA integration to make things way, way easier, but you can also just record them in manually if you can't. The graph mode editor sounds really good once you get it dialed in, but I find it a bit clunky to use when it comes to manual editing. I personally prefer the workflow of Melodyne. However, when it comes to automatic pitch correction, there isn't another plugin that sounds as good as this one. And here's my final rating for Autotune Pro. And now that I've gone over And now that I've gone over each plug in some detail and played you some examples of what they sound like, I'm going to give you some recommendations. To begin, I'll start with the budget options. If you've got Logic or Ableton, I wouldn't even get a pitch correction software if you're on a budget. Ableton's new pitch correction software sounds 
awesome, and you don't have to buy anything new. And between flex pitch and pitch correction in Logic, you'll be able to get some really good sounding results. If you have FL Studio, instead of shelling out the extra money for the pitcher plugin, I'd recommend getting Waves Tune Real Time. It's one of the most affordable options out there that has some good settings to get familiar with. Its low latency will let you hear it on your tracks as you record or use it in a live setting. And on top of all that, it sounds pretty damn good. I'd also recommend Waves Tune Real Time for any other DAW looking for pitch correction, besides Ableton and Logic. But if you're not on a budget and you really just want the best sounding pitch correction plugin possible, then here's what I recommend. For manual pitch correction, Melodyne is my favorite by far. It's easy to use, it's got some great features, and it's become a staple of my vocal workflow. For automatic pitch correction, it's got to be Autotune Pro. If I'm not ready to spend the time individually editing notes, then I'll slap this sucker on and send it off to my clients. It puts my voice in a much better pitch space and it sounds really good. I know I kind of cheated by choosing two, but I really use them both a ton. It just depends on what I'm doing or mixing. If I'm creating a demo or mixing background vocals, going through with Melodyne is just a bit too tedious and time consuming. But if I'm editing a lead vocal, I'll want to spend the time editing with all that precision that comes with Melodyne instead of just using Autotune's auto mode. Sometimes I'll even combine both together. Now I know that these plugins can be pricey, but they are well worth the investment. Save up and buy them when you can. Pitch correction plugins can change your vocals for the better, but it's not the end all be all when it comes to plugins. The best way to get good vocals is to sing well. <laughs> like this video if you found it helpful. Go check out my website in the description below for all of the audio comparisons and the full tracks, and then hit subscribe for more content just like this. I'll see you in the next one.